Vancouver Whitecaps to Seattle Sounders nil. We're here at BC Play. Santi, what was your thoughts on tonight's match? Uh, it was a disappointing game from Seattle. Uh, just looking really lazy. Um, and I will say that Vancouver came out playing very strong tonight, playing very hungry, aggressive. Uh, they, they definitely looked like they wanted it a lot more than we did. And we had a lot of individual error tonight, a lot more than usual, I, I should say. Yeah, I mean, Alex Roldan making the mistake for the first goal. Yamar, Adrande Gomez can't complete a pass for the most part from his defensive half. The tactics seem to be somewhat stale from Brian Schmetzer. In our past six to seven games, we have one win against a nine-man Houston Dynamo. It doesn't look like we're creating opportunities. We're looking dull, constantly horizontal passing. There's no tactics. I mean, what does tonight come down to? Again, it's another dry performance from us. Yeah, I mean, uh, as far as that Houston game goes, I think that really goes to show just how we've been playing lately because even though we might be at the top of the table, first in the Western Conference, really does not reflect the way that we've been playing. Um, like you said, uh, Alex Roulon having a questionable game, even Nuhu having a shaky comeback. Um, Yamar really defensively, we're not looking great. And even offensively, we're just not getting anything together. I mean, we have good individual players not playing well individually. They're not playing as a but team. But these guys have played together for like five, six years. The only new piece is Eber, and he didn't even start this game. I mean, what is going on with the chemistry? I mean, it has to, at this point, then come down to tactics. We, yeah. I don't know. Have we been found out, or is it just things are getting old? I just don't understand that. I think we've been found out since the, uh, the middle of last season. Um, it's been pretty clear. There's been a pretty clear trend. Uh, we kind of push the ball to the outside. We go in for a cross. Forwards can't really uh, be there t to meet the header, put the, the ball in the back of the net. Um, and, yeah, yeah, the, the tactics are really just stale, and I don't know if that comes down to Brian Schmetzer's parts or if it comes down to the players' decision-making, maybe both. But something has to change, whether it's the players, the coach, or maybe even both. We just we need to be hungrier. There's, there's really no emotion, passion, aggression there's nothing there for us we, we don't have anything going because on paper on paper this team looks like a team that could compete in the supporter shield but now we're like honestly if we won all these games it's crazy because we're still in first granted all the other teams below us have games in hand we could have like gone we could have peeled away in the supporter shield race but we're just throwing game after game away and we just don't look like a team that is ambitious to actually make a difference and actually win What's games up? this season like these past like this past stretch we just don't we look like the same team of last season. I, what has happened to us? Yeah, I really, I really can tell you. I, I really do think that we need some players gone and maybe even Schmetzer. Uh, you know, we might, might need Schmetzer to be out of here and, and a new coach, new tactics. Ladero's looking really clunky. Um, you know, even, even Montero, as much as I love him, He's just getting a bit older. He's getting a bit stale. This there's, team just needs really a refresh, no, yeah, clearly. Really, really it does. Needs a new yeah. refresh. We need to get rid of some players, and we need to pick up some new players. Maybe some younger players, but, yeah, just somebody who can, can attack a little better and, and maybe, maybe a little more consistently uh, defend. Vancouver Whitecaps 2, Seattle Sounders nil. Avi, this is your first ever fan cam on, and I, I'm gutted that it had to be in this kind of a match. It's just disappointing to see for you. What was your thoughts on tonight's poor performance? Yeah, I mean, obviously it was uh, hugely disappointing. Sounders looked really good at the beginning of the season, and obviously they've fallen off hard. <laughs> you know, I should have probably expected that, you know. They've been looking pretty bad, pretty shaky in these past few games. Um... And it seems to be the same things, you know. It seems like we're using the same sort of tactics, I guess, that Schmetzer is uh, trying to put upon the team. And it seems like, yeah, we've been found out. We try the same things, and when they don't work, uh, the players kind of just go into panic mode and just pass the ball to the opposition. I mean, it's just kind of like what you're kind of telling me is like, it's like the definition of insanity because we're doing Pretty the much. same thing. We're playing the same players, we're playing the same tactics, and we're yeah. just getting the same results. Is it tonight go down to the players? Is it go down to Brian? Where do you think the blame or the fault comes to for tonight's match? Yeah, I mean, like, as you've mentioned, you know, it's been the same general players for years. And so I think the fault really has to primarily go on to Schmetzer here. Because on paper, it's a good team. The players are good, but they really lack that confidence. You know, most of the time, it takes like one or two goals before the Sounders really get any steam. They need to go into the game, you know, guns a-blazing, 
really fighting for the win. Because I think we're giving the opposition team a lot of respect in a lot of these games. We mm -hmm. we came here and right from the get-go, it seemed like we rolled over right away against Vancouver. We didn't look like we gave them so much respect. We just didn't look like we were going to take the game to them. And it wasn't until we conceded, then conceded the second. Then it was like, oh, we're actually going to do something. And yeah. it just looked like we were just lacking so much urgency. And defensively, dude, Vancouver were slicing us open like butter. It was crazy. Yeah, I mean, obviously, there were a lot of individual errors from, from Yamar, from Alex Roldan. But I think that's because the general tactics kind of fall apart and then the players you know lose confidence and start to play really badly um but you know i think if the tactics were better then the individual uh plays would be better as well so you know i think that we definitely can be better with these players um but something obviously needs to change yeah i mean it's got i mean it's either got to come down to the players got to either come down to the coaching we just i mean there's just it seems there's a big divide there's a big gap between the two of those two things for you what do you think needs to change for at least the sounders to make a turnaround they're still in first place as long as the teams that have games in hand don't score but what needs to change for at least the sounders to keep that momentum of at least being in first or at least being like a top four to five team because right now we look like a team that would is like one of the worst teams in the league. It's like the Sporting Kansas City and the Seattle Sounders flip flop spots after that match again when they played against each other. Yeah, I think I think we need a core to work through. You know, we need a few players that we can rely on to make a good play. You know, in the past that was maybe Lodero, um, who would you know you could trust to make a good play whenever he got the ball. Nowadays it's a little more iffy. You're not sure if he's going to make a good play or or lose the ball. So. Yeah, I think maybe, maybe we need a transition. Uh, maybe get a, a new attacking mid. Try Roosnock in that position. That might be what needs to happen.